Hey guys, it's Test, and I'm back tonight doing a long overdue tutorial for a compact RS Norlatch powered combination lock. Uh, this is the setup, just these two little modules that we're going to be doing tonight, and they replace compact and replace this setup that you see in front of you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the RS Norlatches. These are the inputs where the buttons go uh, to your door. So I've already got a couple builds over there done because I needed to refresh my own memory. Uh, so first for, first things first we need to put down our inputs. Uh, this is going to be uh, where our buttons wherever you have your buttons that uh, your numbered buttons for your combination lock you're going to hook them up to this piece of redstone that's on top of these blue blocks here and then we're going to put in our RS Norlatches start off with little exclamation marks um, we need a block, a redstone torch facing your input then two more blocks just like so on top redstone torches on the far side far oh sorry far top side not a turquoise blue block okay and then two redstone on top to complete the latch and what these uh, this this right here is what replaces all of that okay so we got the RS door latches in now and now if we were to this is both the outputting torch and the reset input um, which it's going to actually act as both for us on this build uh, if we place it to redstone out from there and then uh, repeaters or diodes uh, facing to the right we will have our chain. Now this is going to be the output line over here to the door, wherever our door is. Let's go ahead and hook our door. Oh, we're going to need another door. Okay, and I always urge you guys to place your doors sideways. And that is so that it cannot be hacked uh, by a redstone torch. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I will show you real quick. If you just place your redstone door, uh, or sorry, your door straight, you can open it just by putting a redstone torch in front of it. With this setup, you can. Okay, so that is the most basic combination lock setup there is. It's um, when we put our buttons in, we'll see that we have to press them in the correct order. You can see that it fire off and change states up top. If I were to press this one out of order it would briefly turn on but uh, this one right here since it is not off this torch is still on which carries into the reset for this latch because the reset is down here. So as soon as this goes off it says, oh no, I gotta turn back on, and that's what happens. So, we at this point do not have any way to tell the lock to reset if someone does do that, though. Because now I can just keep pressing buttons until eventually, you know, eventually I hit all of them and our door opens. So, that's what we're gonna do next. So for that, what we want to start with is redstone torches along the sides. Now this is going to be the right side off of your input. Um, I actually, yeah, okay, so you don't need this one. Don't need that one. Okay, and then for the rest of these four, you're not going to ever need the first one to have one because um, it's your first 
input and uh, it'll it'll never reset the system it'll always either start the system or do nothing so once we get oh didn't need to put that there that's okay so this redstone torch one redstone dust below then a set of diodes along and so far none of our diodes need to have their ticks adjusted at all uh, for these the two, two diodes right there next we're going to go block across and we're going to need more diodes now these ones we do need to set to two ticks uh, there we go and then we're going to create a bit of a a little area here this is going to be oh we're going to go two down and four across and then as soon as I get done with this we're going to start making some AND gates and these are going to be what makes it so that if we press the wrong button we get a uh, negative response or a reset okay so we got some reds we got our diode block diode redstone one down and then another diode and this one also needs to be set at two ticks guys just like that sorry I know I'm running at uh, fly three three times speed I probably should not I should probably turn that down to one but I don't want to type right now because it's very loud and you guys probably already hear my keyboard I know you <laughs> I know some of you guys really hate that and I do apologize but for now that's just the way it is. Okay, so we're going to need our diode, down a block, dust, diode, two ticks, two ticks, and then our block, oh, not quite, not there, block, torches on the outside of those blocks, the far side, and then we can go up and over, and what we're doing here is we're going to be creating AND gates like I said I guess I'm just repeating myself now like an old timer <laughs> what did I say there Sonny <laughs> anyhow so basically what, what we're doing here is the the lock needs to know if I'm pressing the buttons in the right order and the only way that we can get it to know that is by checking to see if the redstone torch comes back on so let's say for instance here uh, we've clicked this that's the first input it went in alright but we're gonna go down over here to input 4 now you saw the states change there so what happens is we get where signal comes through here it says okay we're turning off so we're going to come down here we're going to shoot through here we've got a little bit of delay here which activates this portion of the AND switch uh, comes down here hits that goes through and, and has an inverted signal into this block which it's just it's fast enough that as long as this redstone torch's state doesn't change back to on the AND switch won't register a signal here comes my cat again I think he's gonna step on my keyboard no bad kitty um, <laughs> So you saw there, you see how it just turns on for a second? But if I were to have... Oh god. Oh god, cat. Uh, let's say we went all the way up in order. And now we're, fine, we're there. And we do it now. So the, they change states so quickly. And as long as this does not 
go back hot. See, it's allowed to stay down now. Uh, the AND gate won't pick up a signal. So that is it for the lock, pretty much. I'll finish wiring it up real quick, and then we're going to be done. Um, so now that we've got this device here that checks to make sure that we have put them in in the right order, we need to be able to send that signal back to a reset, which will reset the whole lock. And to do that, we just need um, these diodes placed just like I am placing them now. Um, mostly these ones are here just to make sure that the current goes in the right place. And because they can only, the diode won't pick up power when powered from below, it'll only pick up power um, from the direction that it, it takes it from, from the, you know, from its input, the back side. So all of that is in now. We can hop up here and we just need to wire this back around to the beginning. The very first RS normal latch on the chain. And I know guys, this <laughs> I'm not explaining this probably the best as I could, um, but I am doing the best that I can right now. Um, I am a little bit tired. I, I seem to have been making a habit of recording all my videos late at night. I really need to stop doing that. And uh, I will actually. I think this will be the last time I do it. Alright, so that's our lock. Um, it's, uh, let's take a look at it. Um, so we press RS normal latch number one. It goes cold. Everything's okay. Um, then we press S RS normal latch number two. It goes. Uh, everything's okay because it doesn't turn back on. The end gate over here doesn't go off, so it doesn't reset the system. But let's go ahead and place this one, and we can see here that we did get a signal along, and it hit this redstone piece, which went into. This is the first RS nor latch and reset it and then along the chain all of these other ones reset in turn but if we go ahead and do put in all the inputs in the correct order the door is going to open alright guys that's the lock um, this is oh and then just to have a manual reset all you have to do is just put a button into this little just you know just hook a wire into there and um, yeah there you go there's the lock I uh, hope you enjoy the tutorial if you have any questions if, it, any, if anything was not clear uh, ask me in the comments I'll uh, I'll be happy to answer all right guys um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a great night Oh hey guys, I realized that I was distracted and saying something else when I put this particular diode down, but it is important that it be at 3 ticks. Just wanted to say that real quick. Alright, I'm out for real this time.